I cannot believe it. I got trolled again. Second time in a row that the Naruto manga has just trolled me and just snatched my dreams and just taken everything away. Alright, let us uh, let me just get into it. We get it. Neji's dead. He ain't coming back, alright? We understand. It's a goddamn ninja war, okay? Lots of ninjas that we like should be dying right now to make this a hell of a lot more interesting than it is. I'm sorry, but this has got to be the most boring-ass anime war I've ever read in my life. I'm s God damn it, like you have the tin tails and still you're crying over, you have time to cry over Neji. We get it. He's dead. He's not coming back. Do you, one of the funniest parts in this particular chapter was Rock Lee still crying and Naruto like gets on the side of him, puts his hand on and shares some chakra. To me that translates into, look, I know your boy just died and all, but we in a serious war, so here nigga, take some chakra, stop crying like a little bitch, and let's fight. The one other thing is like every all of a sudden everybody has wind shurikens now and they just chunk them at Obito and Madeira and I guess Obito uses a little dimensional thing to escape uh, from getting hit and I don't know whether or not it hit Madeira or not that's that confuses me I don't know whether or not it hit Madeira because it kind of it looks like it sliced Madeira in half but maybe I'm just missing something there was some banter between Shikamaru's dad and Kakashi about the dimensional jutsu that he has with his Sharingan but it, re it really didn't go anywhere, you know? They didn't, like, it wasn't a key component to the entire chapter. So, it's really cool to me that Naruto can just spread his Kyubi chakra amongst everybody. I mean, they explained that he can adapt to everybody else's chakra type just to share with them. And that's cool. That's understandable. But you have the Ten Tail Beast going against one of the Kyubi that they, one of the fucking. I forgot the names of the demons, but one of the tail bees that they need to go in him. I mean, Obito and Madeira should be poning by now, and that's still not happening. Like, they still spent two chapters crying over Neji. No one cared about Neji, and anybody that did care about Neji is probably, like, not even understanding that all, everybody in anime that's supposed to be, like, naturally badass, like Neji, he was the only Jonin, supposedly, out of all of them always end up getting messed over later on in the series like everybody like that neji was a complete and utter dick throughout the introduction of his character he was a dick so he had to die i'm still like ugh. the manga ends the chapter ends with orochimaru and the sasuke team getting to wherever orochimaru was taking them and that's how it ends i got trolled again no, like, the, I got Orochimaru, like, last week, I got Orochimaru at the beginning, and this week, I got Orochimaru at the end. I really think Shonen Jump is specifically trying to troll all Orochimaru fans. I will not stand for this. I will not take it. <laughs> Next week, I want to see what's going on with Sasuke's side. This war is boring. It's really, really boring. The only way they can fix this war and make it more interesting for me as a reader is that somebody else dies. Sakura, come. <laughs> Sakura. <laughs> That's my review, guys. Let me know what y'all thought about the chapter in the comment section below. I'm happy to talk to any one of y'all. Uh, if you like the review, please click that like button. It really helps me out. And until next manga review, which hopefully is a hell of a lot more interesting than this was, thank you for watching. Deuces.